Washington, D.C. Yes. <laughs> so, look around. 
around you, of course, there's only one hand that was raised, probably <laughs> test. Uh, so, this is the market. You are the market. The market is huge. People who are curious, people who want to try things, who want to fantasize. And we are, as a tip of this, of this community, we'll give you basically a voice. We'll give the market a voice. We'll make this acceptable. And as we do, we'll get attention, and of course, attention will drive sales. We're not only launching a product, we're building a universal community, a market, a movement. And this movement starts here today. A few years down the road, you'll be able to say, when all is said and done, when the veil of conservative appropriate is lifted, and we're all free to live without guilt our own pleasures, you'll be able to say, the day this started, I was there. <laughs> or anything and so like from the things that are not about all lifestyle that are currently online and popular what would it look most like or feel most like is it like facebook for all lifestyle is it like yelp for all is it like you know an events more, thing like playing cast like what's the right uh the, the experience would be more like a yelp okay. uh but curated content so the uh we would open up reviews uh for people uh, but the reviews are really about us. We're the ones that we go out, we select the experience, we select the ones that we think are the most appropriate uh, for newcomers, as well as experienced. So it's more likely we think recurring as versus, you know, sort of serendipitous or one-time events. Uh, not both. It can be both. Um, but um, all the contents can be chosen by our curatuses that are all community influencers. So it's going to be mainly curated content with some user reviews and some user suggestions. Is it all sexual alt lifestyle or other alt lifestyles? Other, other alt So it would include like kids going for Burning Man and stuff like that or no? Uh, <laughs> kids going to Burning Man? Uh, I don't know if the kids going to Burning Man type it, but Burning That's Man is, is, is different. <laughs> I know you're a fellow burner as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I think there, you know the potential market for that based on your experiences there. Um, and you know that there's the discretionary, you know, being discreet. Some people don't want Burning Man to be on their resume. I really didn't want this to be on my resume, but it is now. <laughs> What's your Twitter handle? Get curious. I was kidding. I meant him. I'm still trying to figure out what the product is. It's really hard if it's not visual. So far, it looks like a firewall. <laughs> I think they built a firewall. So is there any regulation you have to care about? I mean, could it look like you're running a prostitution ring? No, we're not. No, I know you're not, but it could appear that way if you're like hiding payments and it's about sex. No, well, yeah, we, we yeah. do have to follow up with the Patriot Act. So we have we, to what? We have to follow up with the Patriot Act and the financial elements of yeah. it. Yeah. It means that we have to keep a record if it's subpoenaed, but at least, you know, you don't give information to a random business that is hosting a party. You know, you still have a modicum of privacy, which is did you, did you have a lawyer on the bus, or how would you figure that out? No, but I did. I have a, uh, a business law class, so uh, I'm going to get there. <laughs> Two more years. <laughs> Dave, how was it you have acquired one this week? Please, Dave, don't mind. I heard this, this pitch in prep uh, you know, on Thursday or Friday in right. Max Space right. when they were prepping. I thought it was the best pitch of the day. <laughs> this, is, this is clearly a business. It's probably a big business. I don't know what the competition is. Picture in your mind, there's not kind of experience walking right now. It's yeah. Yeah. kind of driven between events. I, I can actually speak to the competition part of it. There actually is no competition. Um, there are no um, apps in the App Store that specifically deal with alternative lifestyles. There are some that deal with specifically LGBT, but not like the larger umbrella of other adult lifestyles. Like what if I'm involved in, in poly or swinging, that kind of a thing. There, there isn't um, an app that deals with that. Um, there are sites that deal with it, but again, there are, all the sites are a little bit, I mean, like adult friend finder and things like that. It's very sketchy, so well, there, there are been, tasteful been, options. There have been sites like earlymatchmaker.com was all alt lifestyles and locally based so swingers in Dallas yeah. and they had big community if and I'm you not, paid for it. Right? If I'm not incorrect, I believe a local friend finder was sold for four hundred million. Yeah it was and the yeah. founder had most of the equity. What about are you gonna deal in adultery too? Because that's a huge market. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> <what> <laughs> <is>. <laughs> We're dealing with mainly Ash Ashley Madison Making um, it will be mainly um, events and places. Okay. So 
you know, we're actually connecting people so that they can connect with people in the real life world space of their community. So not so much so, just a site, not so much just virtually. So why do you think fab.com in its original version didn't work out? I mean, obviously they're very successful in this design oriented site, but why do you think that? wasn't that? selling sex. No, they weren't selling sex, but it was certainly, you know, trying to do a mass market or more of a mass market play around Let me rephrase sexuality. My emotional content. Fab wasn't selling sex. No, we're not looking to get into this. But we are looking to connect to other people with um, people with like minded folks in their community also. And I think that's actually like the gist of it. So I think it could be more of it. The modern version would be more of a grinder, right? That's sort of taken off. Uh, which more of a kind of real time aspect to it. I, I understand it's different. I mean, this is why the internet was invented, right? right. <laughs> Grinders doing very well. So Grinders being mainly the gay male community. They have Blender, which is more geared to so the straight community. Um, but again, we're um, also integrating, um, uh, connecting with other people through events and mainly parties and places, rather than just one on one. Which Grinder and Blender are mainly just one on one. I believe. So a suggestion for the future, you guys could. Throw condoms to the audience. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're trying to keep it.